from memory, well, if you from were, the heart. If you remember uh, when the, the queen had passed, there was a double rainbow over Buckingham I, Palace. I saw that. That was another cool I, thing. You're right. So, you I saw that. Know. All right, let's talk weather, friends. There's a lot still happening around Northeast Ohio this evening, and I thought, you know, rather than get one event out, if you want to catch the sunset, it's a nice night to do it. We do have some clearing that's going on. Still a little humid. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s. Sunset time is at 728 as we head toward the autumnal equinox, which is at 9.03 p.m. on Thursday. Temperatures are going to slide back into the 60s after sunset. We will stay mostly clear then as we go into the overnight. We do still have a few isolated showers, namely right around Canton. That's going to head down toward East Sparta. We also have a few showers down in the southeast corner of Carroll County and a couple uh, that have been moving outbound from areas farther to the south. But the afternoon has really been one that has seen lots of sunshine, nice light breezes, Definitely feeling muggy, though. The temperatures are in the upper 70s to around 80, but our dew points are currently in the mid and upper 60s. That's in the soup. Things are changing, though. Look at the roller coaster ride we take here. Wednesday, we get a little bump in the temperatures and the humidity ahead of a cold front that is a potent one, and that is going to usher in some much more fall-feeling uh, weather for us. The showers are outbound. The whole storm system that brought all those showers are outbound, too. And we do have some clear skies upstream. With that rain that we did get this morning, there's a lot of moisture lying around, so we probably will have some fog that develops overnight tonight. Meanwhile, this little baby up here is something to watch because that is eventually going to be the leading edge of cooler air that begins to invade. Look at Kansas City right now is at 97 degrees. It's 94 in St. Louis. We're going to stay warm the next couple of days, but then that cold air gets here and it's going to pack a punch. Let's take you through National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Temperatures about 11 o'clock midnight down into the 60s and tomorrow morning morning. We will have fog around temperatures likely to make it into the 50s in many areas right along the lakeshore, though we will be warmer, so not too much of a fog problem for downtown Cleveland. Uh, by the time we hit midday, you can see the temperatures in the mid 70s, mostly sunny skies going to be pretty nice for us. We'll have some high clouds that start to enter into the picture late Tuesday. Tuesday night, we may have some showers that pass through, but the real event is probably going to wait until we get into Wednesday, specifically Wednesday evening. That's when we have a threat for severe thunderstorms and that would be coming along with that cooler, drier air. And look at the temperature drop in your Union Home Mortgage forecast. We are well into the 80s here through Wednesday. Remember, first day of autumn is Thursday, 64. It's a more than 20 degree temperature drop from Wednesday to Thursday, but it does clear us out as we head toward the weekend. It looks like it's going to be a pumpkin spice latte wrap to the week. How about that? Matt's laughing. All right, we'll have a more coming up on what's new in just a moment.